ok. Now, we will discuss uh, like first of all we have discussed about the keywords. Now, we will be discussing the next, next exercise which is given in the NCRT ok. So, I will write over here exercise. Okay. So, just few words are given over here and we need to fill up the blanks ok. Now, the same kind of plants ok, the same kind of plants grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place is called see as soon as I started discussing with the keywords I told you if you will discuss if you uh, will be thorough with the keywords it will become really easy for you to go through all the fill in the blanks and to write the answers. Yes just see we have discussed a crop. So, the same kind of plants grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place is called as what crop ok. Now, the second one the first step before growing crop is dash of the soil. I repeat that uh, the same fill in the blank the first step ok the first step before growing growing crops the first step before growing crops is dash of the soil. We have done this in the beginning of the topic only what is what is required it requires preparation preparation of the soil ok. Come to the third one damaged seeds would dash on the top of the water. Damaged seeds would dash on top of the water. If you remember I told you that even this can be a sort of experiment with the help of which you can understand or even the farmers understand that weeds which seeds are of good quality uh, not actually quality, but which seeds are at least not uh, like the seed the seeds are still uh, can be sown they are in good conditions and which seeds are now rotten they cannot be uh, used as a seeds ok. So, what has to be done a bowl or a container whatever a beaker of water has a beaker has to be So, what has to be done a beaker has to be taken it has to be filled up with the water and then when it fills up with the water then we have to put the grains into it ok. The grains which floats on the top are naturally the one which are not in good conditions ok which are not in good condition means what they are spoiled ok and why they are floating because when the when some insect is there inside or when the part of the seed is being eaten by the insect ok. Then what will happen the some part of that uh, that seed is eaten and so the seed will become quite lighter and so it will float in the water while the good seed will have all the contents inside itself ok. It is not being eaten by the insects and so it will sink in the or at the bottom. So, the seas which are not good will float on the surface of the water. So, what should be my answer damaged seas the one which are damaged seas would float I will write over here will float. Come to the fourth one actually it is A B C D ok. So, I have written I will just make it A, I will make it B, I will make it C, it is D ok. Now, D is for growing a crop sufficient sunlight and dash and dash from the soils so from the soil are essential. I will repeat the question for growing a crop ok, for growing a crop sufficient sunlight 
and dash and dash from the soil are essential. Now what is essential? We all know this. What is essential for a seed to grow? First of all the first blank is for a growing crop. Okay, A crop has got sunlight, sunlight is there. Now soil what can be uh, like uh, absorbed from the soil? Obviously water and nutrients, water and nutrients can be absorbed from the soil. Okay, Water and nutrients can be absorbed from the soil. Now come to the next question, this was question number 1 and just see I have not written the question also fill in the blanks. Okay, now the next question will be match the column. Okay, so the next question is match the pairs, matching of pairs. Now, I will have to write this first of all. First is Kharif, here then Ravi. Then third is chemical fertilizer, fertilizers, then fourth is organic manure, ok, here we are going to write answers. First word, second word, third word and fourth word and before that I have to write here also A is food for cattle, food for cattle, B is urea and superphosphate. B is urea and superphosphate. C is animal excreta, excreta. Okay, then cow dung. I will not write full. Definitely not write full. Okay, and urine and plant based okay and d is also there oh ho d is wheat gram and p okay and e is paddy and maize okay now just say we have to do match the pairs. One side I have written Kharif. Now just find out what is where is the Kharif paddy. I can see from there to here. I can see. So E is the this chalk is not visible. Okay. First is E. Now Ravi just have a look. Oh it is here. Wheat means what? D. Chemical fertilizers obviously these chemicals I can see. So, it is B. It is very easy. Organic is organic, organic, organic where it is. Animal excreta. Okay, C. One is extra. Do not think that by mistake this people give extra or I have written by mistake like I have written extra. It is being given deliberately so that like you know little bit of confusion can be created among the students. Okay. So, now this was about the match the columns pair ok. So, Kharif crop we have got paddy and maize, rabi we have got wheat and gram, chemical fertilizers obviously urea and organic manure is uh, wheat, uh, so I am so sorry uh, animal exceda, cow dung and urine ok. Now come to the next question, give two examples of each ok. Third question is give two examples of each. 
why we have to write it again kharif crop it is here here two examples are here and rabi crops two examples are given here so the third question is solved automatically okay now come to the question number fourth it is it says write a paragraph in your own words on each of the following write a paragraph in your own words on each of the following the first one is preparation of soil the first one is question number fourth a i think so yes it is preparation of the soil okay see i told you this thing before that preparation of soil is required why it is required what it is and how it is done we have to write a short paragraph on this okay so first of all what is the meaning of preparation of soil okay what is the meaning of this so meaning is what it means tilling and loosening of soil okay what is preparation of soil it means that the soil has to be dig little bit tilled means tilling of soil and the soil become loose okay advantages like why it is done okay or need why it is done first of all the water absorbing okay water absorbing capacity okay water absorbing capacity increased okay then what we have discussed air can pass easily okay then roots can penetrate easily okay then nutrients come up and you know the pests the insects the microbes the harmful one which are there present inside the soil below the soil they get naturally destroyed because in process of tilling this one comes up okay and then the sun right falls on them so the harmful microbes or insects are killed naturally okay so much is there to write about okay then the next is you know this was tilling and the next step is what this was the first step of this and if you remember the second step is what the second step is leveling leveling okay and why leveling is done so that equal amount of irrigation like equal amount of water can be uh, can reach everywhere okay the sowing becomes easy yes what becomes easy i am writing this with this one leveling what is the importance of leveling even this is a part of our preparation of soil so what becomes irrigation becomes easy irrigation becomes e1 okay then sowing becomes easy sowing becomes easy yes so now only uh, when you are going to elaborate these points this will become a very big paragraph 
Now only one point is left here which instruments are used for preparation of soil. So plow is used and leveler is used ok. So which instruments I am going to rub this side the instruments which are used for this one is what yes I can rub this one also. So if you write if you include all these things a big paragraph can be covered and this paragraph will be uh, having all the points in it ok. So instrument used ok what are the instruments which are used over here what are the instruments which is used over here plow and leveler ok plow can be again of two types wooden and iron wooden and iron ok. So, this was a whole full paragraph what they have exactly asked ok. First of all preparation of the soil it has two steps tilling and leveling ok. Tilling means what bringing the soil up and down and loosening of soil is tilling ok. Second is leveling to bring the soil on one level these are the advantages ok and leveling irrigation becomes even sowing becomes easy and then the instruments used. So, plow and leveler plow for tilling and for leveling leveler. So, the whole thing is covered in this answer. Come to the next one it is sowing ok. The next one is sowing. B. We have discussed this thing the process of putting the seeds into the land is known as sowing ok. So, I will not write the definition again, but how sowing can be done because we have to write the paragraph ok. So, first of all what we are going to do we are going to write the definition over here that you will write now. So, write definition over here ok and then you people will write ok and then what are the uh, points kept which has to be kept in mind points kept in mind the distance ok distance between the seeds distance between the seeds ok then depth of the seed ok then watering or water supply it should not be like uh, irrigated the field should not be irrigated after sowing what will happen the seeds will be washed away. So, water supply should be done timely means it should be if the land is dry then it should be made, made little wet at the time of tilling only ok and then the seeds has to be sown. So, water supply should be avoided means irrigation cannot be done ok and quality of seeds very important quality of seeds should be good ok. If the seeds are of no or like if the seeds are of not good quality and the farmers ha, like the farmers keep on working hard ok they have done their best, but still the results would not be up to the mark why because the quality is not there in the seed itself. So, how a better uh, crop can be produced ok. So, quality of seeds should be good, depth should be proper 
distance should be proper ok again how it can be done. So, again it can be done in two ways steps or methods ok first is broadcasting ok and second seed drill. And at the time of sowing the seeds even the manure can be added. So, it depends upon the quality of the soil, quality of the seeds and even on the farmers how exactly they want to like how they want to sow ok. So, this was complete paragraph about the sowing. Now, next one is weeding. So, we would not be discussing weeding because just before this question we have done everything about the weeding. Now, threshing also we would not be discussing because we have done threshing as well as winnowing all together. Now, the next question the fifth question is explain how fertilizers are different from manure. So, even this question we would not be discussing because this also I think we have discussed uh, you know in pretty depth actually while solving the uh, this before uh, like you know while writing the definition also and in the chapter also. Now, after the this is what is irrigation describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water ok. So, the question is so next is what is irrigation and describe two methods of irrigation. So, as time and again I am telling you the keywords are very very important just go through the keywords nicely the whole lesson will become very easy. So, again we have discussed this thing in like you know irrigation what is irrigation that we have discussed like irrigation is supply of water ok or to supply water to the crops in particular interval and in particular amount that is what irrigation. Now, the next part is what what is the next part just give me a second. So, now we are going to discuss about irrigation ok irrigation definition I would not be writing again. Irrigation first of all they have asked what is irrigation. So, irrigation is what again supply of water to the crops or in the field at definite or particular intervals or in particular amount that is what irrigation. Now, again the next thing what they have asked about is the two method describe two methods of irrigation which can conserve water. So, first is sprinkle irrigation and second is drip irrigation ok. So, first is sprinkle irrigation and the second is drip irrigation. Now, what is the meaning of sprinkle irrigation? Sprinkle irrigation means if you remember a perpendicular pipe is there to that uh, nozzle is attached and this that nozzle rotates in a particular direction. It stops in a particular direction for some time and then it again rotates and the water from that comes out in the form of a rain drops like it appears as if you know uh, how does like the you know, rain water comes and so for that simple reason only it is known as sprinkle because it comes in the way of the rain ok. So, this is what sprinkle irrigation ok what is being we used over here one perpendicular pipe to this nozzle is attached ok and it keeps on rotating and the water keeps on moving in the field. Now, what is drip irrigation and drip irrigation a pipe is being used in which the holes are there and it is adjusted in such a way that this holes comes just on the roots of the crops or nearby the that you know that bund or that carry of the crop. 
so that the water can be given over here and the, the uh, you know it comes in the form of a drop. Why these methods are used where uh, the water is in like where the scarcity of water is there ok and this methods are very very useful as it prevents the wastage of water it also prevents the prevents the over uh, you know over irrigation of the crops ok. So, what is the question describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water is what these are sprinkle irrigation and drip irrigation. Now, come to the next question if wheat is sown ok if wheat is sown in the Kharif season if wheat is sown in the Kharif season what would happen discuss oh my god just the same thing I asked you like if wheat is sown in the Kharif season that means if wheat is sown in the rainy season what will happen see students see children every crop needs a particular kind of climatic climatic conditions every crop needs a particular type of um, say temperature say moisture humidity sunlight and if it is not given or if it is not available in that particular range or in that particular amount then what happens the uh, either the crops uh, will not uh, you know the production will reduce the productivity will not as will not be as good as it should be or sometimes even the germination will only not take space you know. So, just come to the question what they have given we will talk about that question what is the question if wheat is sown in the Kharif season what will happen. So, you know which answer is this this one is 7 ok. So, what will happen if you grow the wheat crops in rainy season in the monsoon what will happen the uh, germination will only not take place because wheat does not need so much of water and if so much of water is given to the wheat the uh, more amount of water will hinder or will stop the germination of the seed ok. So, what can we write over here is every crop needs a particular I will write in one only climatic conditions particular climatic conditions ok which includes which includes proper sunlight ok means temperature ok temperature humidity water nutrients ok all crops need different kind of climatic conditions like water sunlight everything and if it is not given in required amount the productivity will decrease the productivity get decreased ok and in case of wheat will what happen wheat if wheat is grown in Kharif season if it is grown in Kharif season what will happen if wheat is grown in Kharif season due to 
more water seeds will not germinate seeds will not germinate okay hope you all understood this question now come to the next one explain 81 in this chapter the questions are quite bigger explain how soil gets affected by the continuous plantation of crops in a field again i'm repeating the question explain how soil gets affected by the continuous plantation of crops in a field okay so what is there what they are asking like how like what happens if the crop is grown again again in a particular field okay then what is happening so children see if you keep on taking something from somewhere a day will come and it's going to get it's it will come to an end while teaching also i give an example of petrol like if you keep on digging uh, if you keep on using petrol the fuels okay so a day will come when there will be no uh, uh, petrol to use there was there will be nothing to dig from the surface of the earth in the same way if the crops are being grown okay if the crops are being grown continuously in the same field without any break what will happen uh, the nutrients the soil will lack nutrients and the productivity of the field will be hampered the productivity will reduce okay so what will happen the quality and the quantity of the crop will be not as good as it should be okay so let me write with this what's the question once again i'll read out the question explain how soil gets affected by the continuous plantation of the crops so which one is this okay a see whatever nutrients are required okay from where the cro crop seek crop seek it from the soil only so crops absorb required nutrients from the soil okay if crops are grown in a regular pattern without any change or break definitely or even if i don't write definitely definitely soil will lack the nutrients soil will lack nutrients means nutrients will get over one day okay and this will affect affect the productivity or fertility of soil okay and as a result as a result the what will happen just now i said quality and quantity of 
of crops will decrease okay so to avoid this thing what has to be done what has to be done we read this crop rotation multiple cropping to leave the crop fellow that means vacant manures are to be used fertilizers should be avoided actually but the farmers use for the greater productivity and for the better fertility of the soil so hope you have understood this if the crops are grown again again in the same field in a regular pattern there is no change there is no break then what will happen the soil will definitely lack it will be deprived it will get deprived of the nutrients and it is going to hamper the productivity as well as the uh, fertility of the soil and obviously the quality and the quantity of this, the the crop will get reduced okay now come to the next question uh, again we this people love weeds like anything okay again again this one we are not going to do it but i'll just read it out for you this one was 8 i'm going to read now ninth question for you what are weeds how can we control them okay the question is what are weeds okay what are weeds and how can we control them i will not say anything about this now because we have discussed this okay now arrange the following boxes in proper order to make a flow chart of sugarcane crop production i'll repeat the question arrange the following boxes in proper order to make a flow chart of sugarcane crop production i'm not going to discuss this also you will be doing it yourself because we have discussed this in the agriculture practices keyword okay so you should know now how it has to be done now come to the next one this is actually a puzzle but i love to solve this and uh, i won't be making a crossword puzzle over here but definitely i'm going to solve it as a one word answer and i'm going to write the answer also and so the only thing which you will be doing is filling in your crossword puzzle at your homes okay so just before that let me rub this so we are we will be i will write the name also like uh, one word answer okay so the first one is providing water to the crops it is like in they have given a definition and you have to give a single word to that first word is first definition is giving water to the crops and we all know that what is that giving water to the crops is what just now we have discussed so to give water to the crops is nothing but it is irrigation okay so complete the following word puzzle question number 11 word puzzle okay so i'm writing down one i love this combination see it's looking so bright yellow then blue and then pink okay so down first providing water to the crops is what irrigation okay now second one is keeping crop grains for a long time under proper conditions to keep the crop grains for a longer time in a proper condition is what storage come to the third one certain oh they have written fifth over here now okay it's fifth because third may be down certain plants of the same kind grow on a large scale certain plants of same kind grown on a large scale is crop okay now we'll write across okay 
now we will write across is a machine used for cutting the matured crop a machine used for cutting the matured crop is harvester yeah it is harvester okay it is what harvester now come to the next one fourth one this one was third now fourth a rabi crop that is also one of the pulses so it is what a rabi crop which is also a pulses so it is gram just now we have read in the example now are it is sixth one now okay a process of separating the grains from the chaff see i told you that they have given the threshing and i told you this two times before also like in ncert threshing and winnowing they have mixed it but if you write try to fill threshing over here it won't fit it will be winnowing only okay a process of separating the grains from the chaff is what winnowing hope you all are clear with this okay so now this is what with the uh, ncert and now we are going to solve with certain another questions okay